Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, So Sweet Samuel. My name's Lindsay and I'm coming to you on the 1st of May 2023 on the first bank holiday of May, the first of three bank holidays we're having this month. Um, this is my third attempt to do in this video. My first attempt was very short, only a few, about eight seconds into the video. And then Mark and Samuel walked into the room making a lot of noise. My second attempt, I got about one minute into the video and then an alarm went off and that stopped the video. Oh, my hair's a real mess. Ooh, tied it up, or clipped it up. And um, an alarm went off, so that stopped the video. So now this is attempt number three. So, start again, third time lucky. So this morning I was hanging out my washing and I was thinking to myself, hmm, shall we do short May vlogs? Everyone's done March vlogs, April vlogs. Who fancies a May vlog? Just short and sweet, maybe 10 minutes a day, just having a quick chat, what I've been up to. I've got lots of crafty plans for this month, for the coronation. Um, so maybe you'd like to come along in May. So a bit like the December vlogs I did, um, Christmas vlogs, and um, just see what I get up to throughout May. See what I make. So first off, as it's the coronation, you've seen the king before. Showed him to you a couple of weeks ago, but he's now got his lovely gems on his crown. So he's looking super smart. He's all ready for his coronation on Saturday. And we have Camilla to join him. So I haven't added any gems to her crown. She's got a purple bit in the top of her crown to match Charles's. She's got her golden crown. She's got a little bit of hair hiding under there and a purple sash on her white dress. And she's got a white body underneath. So they're done, so they're delightful. So these patterns are from Knitting Through the Post. So last year, as you know, if you've been following me for a while, I knitted the Queen, um, our lovely Queen Elizabeth II. I knitted her, knitted her quite a few times last year. I've only done one of the King and one Camilla. I had plans to make the Beef Eater and a Guard, um, but I've run out of time at the moment. I'm going to knit two more kings, uh, one for myself and one for my friend Leah. But these two are actually going to go into Samuel School tomorrow for their coronation party um, to go into like a, a competition. Last year I won it with my queen. So these will go in tomorrow for the coronation uh, entry for Samuel for school. Parents were allowed to enter something in um has to be entered in by Wednesday, so Samuel can take these in tomorrow, hence why I'm doing this early. So I think they're super cute. Um, so I will do them again. Um, I won't do Camilla again, but I will do the King again. But I'm going to give him a, a fluffy part on his white robe and a fluffy part on his crown. And then I will probably in, add his jewels onto the pillars of his crown. But I, I think they're lovely. So these are from Knitting Through the Post. I'm getting quite a collection of these together now. And I really like making them. They're quite cute to make. But I do recommend that you sort of sew them up as you go along. I did that a bit more with Camilla. Um, I sewed up as I went. Um, I had her head and her body all sewn up. I think I had her arms all sewn up. And then we went away dancing in Manchester and I knitted Oh, I had the this part of the crown done because this is separate. This is stitched on afterwards. I knitted that in the car. I finished the dress in the car. I did the sash when I got home and I did her hair. Um, I went a little bit wrong on the crown because I was knitting it in the car and we were listening to um, an audible CD of only fools and horses in the car. So I was listening to that and talking to Samuel and... Um, you know, so, I, but I don't think you can see I've gone wrong on the crown. I don't think it matters. So she's all done. So they will go to school tomorrow. Um, I also, on Friday, I ironed up my red work, my Mandy Shaw King Charles Coronation Heart. I ironed this on on Friday. I couldn't find this on Friday. I turned the house upside down. 
could not find this anywhere and uh, King Charles must be feeling very nervous because he was hiding in my ironing basket. <laughs> but I've, I sewed this all up on Friday. So I've just got to go round the heart and the scallops now and then stitch that together. So that shouldn't take too long. And I actually, this is the first piece of red work I've done in a very, very long time. But I really, really enjoyed doing that. So um, I'm going to be doing some more of that. And I have actually signed up to the next secret society i know i know i said i wasn't going to but mandy has such a hold over me she has a hold over all of us if she's got you in the club she's got you for life i tell you <laughs> she has a real hold over us um this one is slightly different this time i think you get do you get three projects or four projects so you get a christmas project you get a set of cushions and you get a bag. So maybe you only get three projects over the year. And then I think you get little mini projects to do as well. But these are big projects to do over the course of the year. So I have signed up for it. But I feel better because my friend Gina also signed up for it. As I'm signing up for it, I'm thinking, I've got to tell my friend Kay that I've signed up for that, for this. That's going to be tricky. And I also have to explain to Gina that I've signed up for it because both of us said we're going to have a break this year. We're not signing up this year. We're going to have a break, going to have a break. And I'm like, oh. And then Gina texts me and said, oh dear, I've signed up for the Secret Society. And I'm like, I'm so pleased you've signed up because I've signed up as well. So now I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> Milo, Milo, here's Milo. Say hello. Say hello, everybody. I'm here. You had a shower yesterday, didn't you? You're ready for the coronation. We should have made you something. And then last time I spoke to you, well, I can't tell you too much, but we have a head. We have an unstuffed body. We have two legs. And we have two arms. So hopefully, if we do do May vlogs, by tomorrow, this should all be put together. So I'm not going to show you what that's going to become. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. I also have, where is this? I have somewhere, I have a one sock. I have one sock finished for my auntie. This is now going to be for my auntie. And I'm halfway up the second sock as well. I'm videoing, shush. I have third attempt. Mr. So Sweet Samuel's just appeared. Apparently we've got water in the caravan. Okay. Men, I'm not starting this again. So that's one sock done. I love this yarn. This is paint box and it's self-striping, self-fair isling. So that's really nice. Okay, so that's all done. So um I haven't got anything else to show you. So I'm gonna finish stuffing this and I'll be back tomorrow to show you what this becomes. I'm going to finish my heart at some point this week and show you that all finished and I've got other things to make. I'm watching the weather I think it's about to rain and so I'll see you in a, maybe tomorrow. Okay speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.